Hi guys, so in the last video we learned how to find out the percentiles, the quartiles of a given data. Now in this video we'll be learning how to plot the given data onto a bar chart, onto a, uh, onto a pie chart as well. Okay. So now let's suppose that we have this hypothetical data here and we want to plot this data onto a, onto a chart. So before we do that, we will first need to convert this data into a group frequency data. Okay. So therefore, this video is divided into two parts. We will first convert this raw data into group frequency data, and the second part where we where we plot this group frequency data onto the charts. Okay. So to convert this data onto a group frequency data we will need these three values here maximum minimum and n now for maximum maximum is obviously the maximum of all these values here of all this data minimum also it is the minimum of all these values now n is the number of values in this column number of values now for all of these we have inbuilt function now let's just go ahead and find them we type in equal to type in the word mex select this function inside bracket select this data complete the brackets press enter you get the maximum now for minimum again the same thing type in min select this inside brackets select the column complete brackets press enter you get the minimum as well now for n we have the function count so we type in equal to we type in the word count and inside brackets select this column complete the brackets press enter we get the value of n as well now before we proceed further we will need to understand how to find out the class width now to determine the class width a uh, general rule of thumb is to take the square root of the value of n and take that as the class width okay so let's just find the square root we use this function select this inside it and press enter okay so uh, obviously the class width would be the would be 3 approximately 3 okay so let's suppose that my first class is 11 to 14. The next is 14 to 17. And the next would be 17 to 20. Okay. So here I have filled it all for you. Now, before we find frequencies, we will need this ma column of maximums as well. Now, maximums is simply the maximum value of the class or the upper limit of the class. So, upper limit of 11 to 14, uh, class 11 to 14 is obviously 14. Next is 17. The next would be 20. Now, again, I have filled it all uh, for you. Now let's just go ahead and find the frequencies. Now for frequencies, Excel has an inbuilt function. We'll be using that. The function is frequency function. We type in equal to, we type in the word frequency, select this function. Now inside this function, we need to put two arguments. Now the first argument obviously is the data of which we want to find out the frequencies. Now the second would be this, uh, this the column of the maximums. Okay, so let's just select this data here. Press comma, and in the second column or in the second argument, we select this column of maximums and complete the brackets and press enter. You get the frequencies as well. Okay. So now that we have frequencies, we can uh, we can plot this data onto a chart. Okay, so 
to plot this data select we first select this data here and then proceed to insert and here you can see all types of charts okay now let's we want to first plot the bar chart or the column chart so therefore we select this chart here and that's it you get the chart here now uh, we can go ahead and format the chart as 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 the way we like to now let's say i want to name this the we want to name the chart title as bar chart we select we select the chart title as bar chart and click ok and that's it you get the name as set as bar chart now to change the access title select access titles from here select primary access title you want you can choose to not display the chart title or you can display it below the axis let's just change the title to the horizontal axis as the classes press ok and that's it you get here the horizontal axis is named as classes now to uh, name the y axis we select the vertical axis title edit vertical axis title and then I am typing in frequencies here okay you can resize this as well you can move this chart anywhere you would like to you can resize the chart as the way you like again you can position the legend on uh, any on any of the sites let's say I'm positioning it to right okay so here you can see now we don't ha really have the le uh, the legend here now we proceed to data labels we can use any of these as you would like to we have data table as well we don't need to use all of this now now we proceed to uh, find the pie chart for the same data again we select this data okay again proceed to insert now for now we select the pie chart now as you can see you have two you have two options you can use a normal pie chart or you can you can use a donut chart as well we select the pie chart and we have the pie chart here as well again you can resize it you can move it also now again we can rename the chart title as anything let's say I'm putting in pie chart press ok and the naming has been done now here to now here uh, we don't have the frequencies here uh, you cannot see the frequencies here to change that uh, we will use the data labels select any uh, any of these options let's say I want to show the frequencies at the center of each slice so I select that and you can you see the you, you can see the frequencies here as well now you can see it's not symmetrical so that you can use the best fit here okay now this is perfect now again uh, we can position the legend anywhere we like let's say I'm positioning the legend at the right okay so here we can see it has, it is on the right so now we have both the charts the bar chart and the pie chart okay so that's it for this video thank you